Okay, so you're probably wondering what's all of this robots file about. And I'm going to tell you why it's important to have a robots file on your website, and then I'm going to show you, I mean, I'm going to tell you what you can do to fix it. Alright? Bear with me. So, you have the robots file. And what is a robots file? Well, the robots file is like having a very huge trespassing sign saying, do not cross. So the robots file is a huge do not cross sign. But who is it for? It is for all of the search engine crawlers out there. What is a crawler? Well, imagine crawlers like being like these very tiny robots who are, you know, let's say living on the web and all of, all of these small things just go from link to link to link to other links and they are trying to gather as much information as possible about each link that they basically stumble upon. Alright? Well, uh, these crawlers can find out all of the information that you have inside of your website. And sometimes that may be harmful because you have information uh, inside your website, you have different pages that you may want uh, nobody to know about. And you definitely have some pages in your website that you do not want to be found via search engines. And having a robots file is a trespassing sign for the crawlers who will try to go and find each page that you have in your website. And if you want all of those pages to be found, fine, no problem. But if you have, let's say, this page, for example, you can just uh, place it in your robots file, and that will tell the search engine crawlers, some of these small living entities here, it will tell them, do not cross. You cannot go here. You can go here if you want. You can take information from this page, take information from this page, but definitely you cannot take information from that page of my website. And that's why it's very important to have a robots.txt file in your website. Now, how can you fix this? How can you make sure that you have a robots.txt file in your website? Well, if you're using WordPress, you can simply search for a WordPress SEO plugin that already comes with a robots.txt file installed in it. And, for example, the Squirrely SEO plugin already has it, you don't have to do anything about it, it will just post robots.txt file in your website. Otherwise, if you want to fix it and you don't have a WordPress site or you don't want to install plugins, you can use the button that we have in this content loop report that says send, uh, send this issue to your team members. And then you can get your technical guy or your SEO person from your team to start helping, to, to start solving this problem. And we are going to provide them the exact details they need to know about the robots TXT files. So just press that button, and uh, somebody from your team is going to know how to solve this problem for you. Okay, so that's about robots uh, TXT file. Remember, it's important to have them. See you next time.